We live? Looks like we are. Hi everyone, it's Carly Myers here and welcome to the Stress Less Career Show. Um, this is our third episode, so I'm super, super excited. Uh, we made it to number three. How many can we make it to? Um, so if you don't know me, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder of Work You Love. And what I do is I help people who are overworked, overwhelmed, on the verge of burnout, find more joy at work. What does that mean? It means that I help people reduce stress and strategically build their career so that they can be happy. We spend a third of our lives in the workplace. We deserve to be happy, right? Right. Okay. So the first week we talked about intention. Um, the second week we talked last week, we talked about purpose versus calling. Um, what are the difference, differences between those two? I highly encourage you if you haven't seen those videos to go back and watch them. Um, and today we're going to be talking about the importance of planning, right? Spark, right? Sparky. Okay. So this is my dog Sparky. You might see him walking in and out. Don't mind him. He's just enjoying his casual stage presence. So the importance of planning. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I'm sure you guys have heard that time and time again. You ladies even have heard that time and time again. All of us have heard that time and time again. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So we are in the very last week of January. If you haven't created your plan for this year yet, it is time to create your plan. I don't care if you're not an entrepreneur. I don't care if you're not a business owner. This is about creating intention, figuring out your purpose and calling, and then creating the plan so that you have something to move towards in your career. So what is your, what is the big picture goal for you for 2019? What is, and Sparky's like, huh, what's mine, right? What is the big picture goal for you for 2019? How do you break that down? Okay, you're going to break that down into milestones. Get your piece, your pencil and paper out if you haven't already. This one's really important. So you have here your big picture goal. So maybe in 2019, you want to get a promotion. That's a big picture goal. Okay, how what are the milestones that you need to meet to ensure or to make the bets forever, you know, the, the gods, whatever, forever in your favor so that you're going to be able to be able to be more likely to get that promotion? OK, what is the first milestone? Well, maybe you don't have software experience or some sort of um, experience under your belt so that you can get you know, so that you are an ideal candidate for this position. That might be your first milestone. Your first milestone might be sign up for a class, take a class. Okay. Your second milestone might be the next thing that you need to learn in order to show up in, in the workplace. Um, in, in terms of this promotion, your third milestone might be, I need to be thinking about the relationships I'm cultivating in this position, in this organization so that if a promotion comes up, I'm the first one they think, right? So thinking strategically, how am I going to make that promotion, that big picture goal and break it down into realistic milestones, very specific milestones too. Now, once you have those milestones, then there's a third important, incredibly, incredibly important piece. And it is to break those milestones down into tasks that take 10 minutes or less. Oftentimes when we do a plan, we get so overwhelmed by the plan, we can't actually move forward. We're like, oh my goodness, to, you know, to do this one thing, to get, to sign up for class. Ah, there's so many things that you, you know, you might have to research a bunch of organizations. You might have to save up some money. You might have to, right? There's a ton of stuff that go into these milestones. So it's easy to get overwhelmed. When you break your milestones down and your, and your big picture goals down, into tasks that take 10 minutes or less. What you're doing is you're taking away that overwhelm. You, you can tell yourself, you can start telling yourself, all I need to do is a task that takes 10 minutes. That's it. This task only takes five minutes. I can do this. And here, before you know it, the brain loves, we love crossing stuff off. The more we cross off, the more we're likely to show back up again. So we're crossing things off. It only took me 10 minutes. I'm feeling pretty good. All right. Second one. Oh, I'm feeling even better. Third one. I'm on a roll. Fourth one. This is who I am, right? We change the way the brain is rewired. So it's important that you figure out your big picture goal 
for 2019. And you can have, I would say like, you know, I would recommend one for your career, right? I would say like a revenue generating one, um, one for your career, your position or things like that. One for a project. So if you have a personal project or career project that you want to work on, um, and then one for self-care. We cannot, I cannot stress this enough. A lot of us are losing our identities in our careers, in our businesses, in our entrepreneurial journeys, right? So in our careers, we need to have as part of our planning, our personal life. So this self-care piece could be that you go take a tap class every Wednesday night, right? What is the self-care goal? And I encourage you to go beyond. Now, if you want to lose weight, that's great. Um, but I do, I think that's probably the most common one. And so I think you're going to do that regardless. So try to challenge yourself to something that's going to make you feel good. Um, and I know, you know, it could be uh, setting a support system around weight loss, right? So it's can you can definitely include that. But I really want you to think about who you are, like, who are you outside of your career and make your big picture goal about that. So you don't have an identity crisis when you switch positions, which it will happen. All right. Um, so. In summary, what are we doing to create our 2019 plan? We're determining our big picture goal. From there, what we're doing is we're breaking that big picture goal down into a few milestones. You don't have to create a million milestones. You can just do the first few. And from the from those milestones, you will create an, a list of tasks that take 10 minutes or less that are going to help you achieve that milestone. Nuance here. Do not list. I mean, depending on your personality, know yourself. If you're the type of person that if you create a list of 100 tasks that take 10 minutes or less, you're going to get overwhelmed. Do not do that. Create a list of four or five tasks, the fifth task being determine the next few tasks, right? So really know how your brain works, know how your overwhelm works and create those 10 minute tasks, 10 minutes or less tasks accordingly. So big picture milestones, Tasks that take 10 minutes or less that are going to help you move forward on that. Write it down. Share it with someone. Have an accountability partner. Really, it's all the power is in the foresight. The power is in the planning. So remember, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So 2019 is not going to be a failure for y'all. I know it's not if you do this plan. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for having me. I'm so enjoying this show. And if you haven't heard it today, you're a badass. You've got this. You're gorgeous. You're smart. And I know that if you put the work in, you can do whatever you want. You can make your wildest dreams come true. Um, thank you guys again so much for having me. And we will see you next week. All right. Bye.